If he's still alive, William Tyrrell has now been missing for more than half of his short life. Now, one person of interest has spoken exclusively to a current affair. His revelations have been passed on to investigators and, as you're about to see, he wasn't pleased to meet us. You want it, Matt? You want it, Matt? Lady Jones, you want don't, it? don't you touch that camera, Mr Jones. Mr Jones... Look, I you... answered your questions, mate. Go away! Police emergency, Mr Simone. Your family say you arrived home drunk that afternoon. I've got, I arrived home at lunchtime drunk. Yeah, hi, my son is in six and three and a half. So how can right. you explain your whereabouts? I just told you where I was, fool! That's horrendous. Oh my God, he's got worse. Why are you in the police frame for the disappearance of William Tyrrell? Because you lived in the area, okay? It's like a jigsaw puzzle that you never thought would be put together. No! You look at them and the pieces shouldn't fit, but they do. I said, how can you explain your whereabouts when you were drunk I just that did, day? Mate. What I'm about to tell you, I've never made a statement public before. <laughs> this is Tony Jones, a person of interest in one of Australia's most heartbreaking missing children's cases, the disappearance of William Tyrrell. Tony Jones, Steve Marshall from A Current Affair. Mr Jones. He solved it. Mr Jones, we're investigating the disappearance of young William Tyrrell. Do you know anything about that? Where were you on the day William Tyrrell disappeared? Mr Jones, do you know anything about that? Not in the mood to chat, Tony Jones takes refuge in a local police station. Why run away from the cameras, Mr Jones? Go away, mate. Why run away? Go away why from me. You're in the police station harassing me. Why, why did you run away from the camera? Why should I have to go on camera? Hmm? Why should I have to go on camera? I've got a few questions to ask you. About yeah, I've got two questions to ask you. Why are you such a moron? Yeah. Don't you think William Tyrrell's family deserve answers? Hey? Don't you think William Tyrrell's family deserves answers? I wasn't even questioning him, so piss off, you idiot. Were you in Kendall that day, William Tyrrell? No, I was not. Now go away. You weren't in Kendall. Can you get rid of these people, please? I'm just asking this bloke a few questions, sir. I don't care. I want to go on. Um, Investigators have questioned Jones numerous times over the suspected abduction of young William. <laughs> No charges have been laid, but as you're about to see, his link to an intriguing web of people, places and points in time could blow the investigation wide open. Mr Jones, can you explain your car and the police taking your car away for examination? This is the first time Jones has been questioned publicly over the Tyrrell mystery. He's one of several persons of interest in the case. Before now, only grainy images from the Jones family have given us a glimpse of this person of interest. On September 12, 2014, when William Tyrrell vanished from his grandmother's home in Kendall, New South Wales, Jones was living 20 minutes drive away in the town of Warhope, under the same roof as his estranged relative, Katrina. And what did he do during the days? Nine times out of ten he would simply go bush or he would drink or he would go and visit, we don't know who. After three and a half years of haunting suspicion, Katrina has decided to sit down and share her story exclusively with a current affair. I can't say that he did it, but I can't say he didn't. So. And what's, what sort of feeling does that give you? Not very good. Really, not very good. I've never felt right about it from day one. I'm not going to answer your questions. I'll just put some questions to you. Let's go. Mr. I'm not Jones, answering them. Mr. Why not? Why would you ask these questions? We, we haven't heard from you before. Exactly You're, right. Do you know right. anything at all about no, the I young do boy's not. disappearance? I do not. Okay. I do not. Were the you... car that you're talking about didn't belong to me, belonged to my ex wife. She owned it, she drove it. I was never allowed to drive it, okay? A car belonging to the Jones family was seized by police for forensic examination. The white Toyota station wagon matched the description of a car seen by William's foster mother on the day he disappeared. It's a coincidence, it's yeah. a similar maker model. Okay, colour. maybe so, right? Maybe so. But I didn't own the car. I didn't drive the car. I was never allowed to drive the car, okay? You've seen him behind the wheel of yeah. that particular vehicle? Yes. But, as I said, with her knowledge, definitely no. We said he's never allowed to drive it, and never did. No, that's not true. 
that's not true. The white car in question was shared between the Jones family and their next door neighbour. For the first time, Jones has put forward his alibi on national television, one which relies on the same next door neighbour, who Katrina says has since died of cancer. And where I was on the day he disappeared was with my next door neighbour getting a hot water system. You got your answers? He told his family at the time he was out bush collecting scrap metal. Mr Jones... Look, I answered your questions, mate. Go away! One more, Mr Jones. One more, Mr Jones. Your family... Your family say you arrived home drunk that afternoon. I've got, I arrived home at lunchtime drunk. So how can right. you explain your whereabouts? I just told you where I was, fool! You were drunk. Go! You're... Go! Before hey. I lose it, hey. you'll get killed, idiot! Now get! Excuse me, you just threatened Get away! You just threatened my life, sir. Mr Jones. Get away from me! Mr Jones, you just threatened... I answered your question and you're keeping down at me! I just told you where I was, fool! Oh, my Go. God. Go! Before hey. I lose it! I oh, my God, lose that is so good. We said he was with a friend digging a hole or a ditch for a hot water system. Don't know anything about it. Never heard that story until today. Did not know. You admitted you were drunk. How can you explain your whereabouts? You Tony Jones? You want it smashed? You want it smashed? Tony Jones, you want don't, it? don't you touch that camera, Mr Jones. Should authorities question Tony Jones again? If I saw that as a police officer, I would because he simply didn't ask the, answer the question. He said, I came home drunk at lunchtime. That wasn't the question asked. No, one, the first time was the worst, but... The question that Katrina's been asking herself over the past three and a half years is what exactly was Jones doing the morning William Tyrrell disappeared? He was sober when he left, so did he get drunk and drive home? Did he see that other gentleman in the hotel. What happened in that gap, nobody will, there's only one person that'll know and that's him and whoever he was with. What gentleman in the hotel? Paul Bickford. Uh, I'm not saying that. Paul Bickford is another person of interest in the Tyrrell case. He and Jones were part of the same social group investigated by strike force Ross Ann detectives. Though Mr Bickford has denied he's mates with Jones. Not a good friend. No, he's an acquaintance. You're not an acquaintance with someone that you stand and have a conversation with for an hour, or you sit at the table and have coffee with for an hour and you laugh and talk. That's not an acquaintance. Police emergency, this is Simone. Yeah, hi, my son is missing. He's three and a half. He was just playing around here. We heard him and then we heard nothing. For the past three and a half years, a haze of mystery has hung low over the nation as it seems every back road has been searched for any trace of William Tyrrell. So as he nears his seventh birthday, just where are things at now? Last year, a current affair revealed William Tyrrell was a foster child when he went missing. He was visiting Kendall with his foster parents. His biological parents live in Western Sydney and have been in and out of trouble with the law. His biological dad is currently behind bars for unrelated offences. William's biological grandmother, Natalie, also lives in Western Sydney. She's best friends with a woman named Kim. Kim lives with her partner, Johnny, and Kim is best mates with Natalie. That that connection is bizarre to say the least. Anyone can be best friends with anyone. It's just the web just seems to be getting bigger and bigger. And who's Johnny? Um, Jones's ex-brother-in-law. In an extraordinary twist, Tony Jones links persons of interest in the case of missing William with a young boy's biological family. And the connections don't stop there. Did he know Bill Spitting? Yes. Bill Spedding is another person of interest. He's a washing machine repairman who once sold an appliance to Tony Jones and his family. He visited William's foster grandmother's home the week before the boy vanished and returned just days after the house was turned into a crime scene. 
All these people willingly cooperated with the police in the search for William, including Bill Spedding. Does the disappearance of William Tyrrell haunt you? Before you disappear, do you have anything at all that can help police in the disappearance of William Tyrrell? Mr. Spedding. The connections are just insane. They're almost inexplicable as to how they've all come about. It... As William Tyrrell's face was broadcast across the country, Tony Jones told his family that he was going out to get fuel to help with the search for the little boy. However, he never followed through. I just told you where I was, fool! You were drunk. No! No! Before hey. I lose it, hey. you'll get killed, idiot! Now get! Why, why would he get all upset like that? I don't know. I really don't know. He's never been so defensive. Go away! My gut says... My gut says... I don't know. I don't really know. It's really hard. Um, he's got the potential. Knowing him for as long as I've known him, he's got the potential without saying yes. <laughs> An unprecedented million dollar reward is still in play to help find this little boy whose name is now etched into the pages of Australian history. When it comes to William Tyrrell, what's your message to Tony Jones? I'm not accusing anyone of anything but if anything is known, no matter how little it is, for God's sake, speak up. It's been nearly four years. Don't let that little boy leave his mum and dad for any longer. The kid deserves to be home. No one's been charged with William's disappearance. Police will continue to investigate a number of people in this case. If you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. That's 1800 333 000.